Okay, so I'm making this video in order to try to install Montreal Forset Aligner. So first of all, I'm gonna start with Google. And there are two links, the official documentation and the GitHub, which I believe is already... Okay, let's open again. And here I can see that Michael recommends using Conda. So the first thing you have to do is download Miniconda. I already have Anaconda installed here. So I'm not gonna install anything, I'm just gonna show the way to do it. So probably if you're on a Linux machine, you would have to install this Miniconda 3 for Linux, this one. mini kind of three for Linux and this is gonna download a an sh script file all you have to do is execute and follow the steps which is basically next 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 ag agreeing to the license and finally defining defining a root folder so and I'm gonna do that I already have an account installed here and as Michael recommends using Installing directly from Conda environment, let's do it. So I'm gonna create an environment called uh, I don't know MFA tests, and I'm gonna say this environment is gonna have Python 3.8 installed. And this flag dash 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 yes is just for not asking me to not typing yes or no after installing some things. So Conda already tells me what to do. I need to activate this environment. So Conda MFA Conda activate MFA test. And the way you know you you're in a Conda environment is if something like this shows on in your terminal. Okay, so uh, getting back to the GitHub, all I have to do is install copy and paste this command it's gonna take a while so while it installs some things let's um, okay there's are alternate ways to do it so I'm gonna start with the user guide in the official documentation and what do I have to do is download some models. So first of all, a CISC model. And you can see here, this is the command I have to use. MFA model download. Uh, so this is gonna download a lot of things, CALD included. So cal this is the list of things that have to be installed alongside MFA. CALD is probably among these things. I'm not sure. Oh, here. Here it is. CALD, 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 CALD. Oh, done. So MFA, download acoustic. And I have to provide the name of the acoustic model. So I have to search for the Portuguese model. And that's probably language ID. Oh, okay, so he's, he's saying you can get a list of currently available models. Okay, so I, if, oops, sorry. Aha, uh -huh. so Portuguese. Okay, so next thing is dictionary. MFA download dictionary. This Portuguese Brazil. Right, very good. 
So for aligning, uh, I don't need the language model. I don't need the DGP. Here, align with an acoustic model. So everything you need to do is use this command, MFA align, and you gotta provide corpus dir dictionary path, acoustic model path, and output directory. So first things first, the corpus directory, the data set we usually use for alignment is called male female it's just one male and one female speaker it's available on the follow brazil speech data sets repository on github which they are six and you have to clone this repository which i'm gonna do in a temp And you need to have DVC installed with, you have to follow the instructions, right? Which is pip install DVC G drive with Google Drive support. This might take a while. So uh, to download the the data sets, all you have to do is DVC poll and you have to specify I don't know how to list. Okay, I'm not inside. Okay, I need to be inside of the repository in order to to see which repositories are available. So you have to do DVC pool dash r align and before I do that let's take a look what is inside this repository so you have a folder called datasets there's a bunch of files with DVC extension which are basically pointers to where the data is actually located and after you do DVC poll uh, this folder datasets will be populated with whatever files are inside this uh, remote repository, which is actually on Google Drive, as you've seen in here. These are actually keys or, or some kind of identificator for folders on Google Drive. So DVC pool non are aligned. And DVC is boring because I ha all, all the time I have to pull something, I have to copy this on my browser and I have to agree with the DVC terms and if I don't have a Google account I can't do anything. So last thing I have to copy this code and paste, paste here and hopefully this is gonna pull the data and I can proceed to do my things with MFA align first Argument is the repository folder, so slash temp, slash speech dataset, slash dataset, slash mf. And let's align the mail dataset, for example. Uh, second thing is dictionary path. So the dictionary path is actually on home. Downloads MF 
downloads no documents MFA uh, extracted models Portuguese probably no pre-trained models dictionary Portuguese and acoustic model path documents MFA pre-trained models acoustic Portuguese.zip acoustic in output directory so it's gonna be slash temp slash text grids so I just have to f to wait for DVC to finish polling this data set actually which in a minute will be available in this pane right here okay so this is it DVC is gonna throw a lot of warnings because I have multiple remotes and we are not supposed to have multiple remotes in a single github repository when using DVC but anyway data sets MF okay, there is a male and a female folder both contain data for a single speaker so this data set is composed by two speakers and if you look inside male there are a bunch of wave and transcription and the handline text grid files. Okay, so this is it. Whoa! Okay, I have to pass the clean flag. And if I remember correctly, there is something about overwriting. Yes, there is a flag called overwrite, which I usually need to overwrite. So I'm going to jump into my text read folder. And data, these are the text reads MFA just produced for me. So, uh, a second thing, I'm gonna record a. Oops. An audio and slash temp. A galinha come bolinha. So I'm gonna create a directory here called galinha. A galinha come bolinha. Okay, so I'm gonna create a transcription for this file. And I'm gonna call MFA again, but passing this new directory instead of the dataset directory. And I'm gonna pass another directory as the output, so Galo. <laughs> Galinha Galo. Then uh, Outdocs text grid has been created. And you can probably can use Prat to open this file. I don't have Prat installed, but this is pretty much it for MFA. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe to my channel and <laughs> like the video. Thanks.